What's up guys, I'm Anxiety Disorder, and today I was playing some League of Legends, and I was like, I never really play ranked too much. Like, I don't play ranked, I don't play draft at all really too much. So I was like, how do I get my confidence up so I could play those? And then I thought back to uh, an old series that I love to play, when, or watch when I was trying to learn how to play uh, StarCraft a lot more, it was uh, Total Biscuits. Um, I suck at StarCraft 2 thing where he would basically just play a game and then go and look back at it and like pick and critique what was going on throughout the um, experience like throughout the game and like pick what he did well and what he did wrong and stuff like that and I thought I could do that with League and maybe I could get a little bit better at it so um, so that's what we're gonna do I'm playing Zillion. At, I'm playing Zillion support, which um, I do play mostly support. I do play a little bit of other things, but support is my primary, you know, go, uh, like go-to class. And I like playing the off-meta, so Zillion and things like that are a lot of fun to me. So um, that's what I'm going to do. And to start off, I have two critiques that I should have done, like should have known like straight up was one you don't take flash when you are not flash um, teleport when you're a support and two I should have something like um, Thunderlords and not uh, uh, what is it called something of the ancient ancient whatever it is it's it's um <laughs> it's it's the tank uh, mastery instead of the Thunderlords which is what I would want in a zillion support mainly because I'm going to basically just be harassing them with damage that's like the whole point of the whole point of zillion support is to harass and like get the get the stuns off and things like that so Thunderlords would have been a great idea using something like exhaust or ignite would be a great idea preferably exhaust when your um, lane partner is a Tristana mainly because she can secure a lot of her kills easily with her uh, rocket jump and stuff like that uh, Tristana went really ballsy there and looked into the um, enemy's jungle and I was really afraid of that uh, Diana is starting a pretty aggressive path with red and then I think she goes wolves blue and then ganks mid or she ganks somewhere I think top but is very aggressive and because of that um, we won't see her for a while and uh, we're laning against a Cassiopeia support and a Vayne. I really do like Cassiope Cassiopeia as a support. That's very cool and interesting. Like, she's very good at zoning. And she's basically just like Zillion with the harass. But her um, CC is not very good. So you'd want to, like, uh, pile her with, like, use something like... Uh, I would say something less dependent on farm than than a, a vein because a vein Kogma and then a, a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head vein Kogma twitch there we go you would want someone who's a bully in lane something like Braum or Alistair like something that can really keep the enemies off of their support because their farm supports or their farm ADs carries so I really don't agree with Cassiopeia Vang combo, but I do agree with uh, Cassiopeia being a support like mage. It it just seems very interesting to me. Um, as you guys have probably already seen, I miss a lot of my Q like QWQ combos, and that's just something I have to work on. Like just by playing this a lot, I have to learn to lead the shot instead of throwing the shot like straight on top of them I have to lead them a little bit and try to like predict where they're gonna go to get the stun and uh, so basically I'm just trying to be a nuisance in lane if I had Thunderlords we'd be winning this lane a little bit more thanks to the but um, as of right now it's just kind of try to get as much gold as I can I I did take masteries and stuff like that that really do generate a lot of gold for me. And then also, uh, thanks to the first part of Frost Queen's claim, I forget what it's called, I get like 8 gold every time I do damage to an, 
or like eight gold every time I auto attack a enemy champion, so that's pretty great. Um, I hear like Trisana really does go way too aggressive. Like, if the vein was competent, she could have rolled condemned and like killed the Trisana straight up. This is something I do like about a zillion in lane, like in a dual lane, is his pa his new passive is pretty interesting. I got uh, Trisana to level four way before uh, Vayne would reach it, so we do really have a lot of the uh, the level advantage a lot of the time just because of my passive, which is always a great thing. And uh, our strategy here was basically try to shut down Vayne, don't let her be too like hyper carry like and and to be honest we do that a lot um like i i rush some certain items that would end the game or like do my best to end the game early plus uh, our guys are pretty good but uh there if tristano it was a good example of why i'm really afraid that this tristano would get us killed in lane a lot was because she went way too aggressive there, and if she wouldn't have jumped out right then and there, she would have gotten condemned into a wall and died. Which is um, a lot of things that ADCs really do need to learn. Sadly, like the earlier, like the lower ranked ADCs need to learn, is they either need to let someone else engage, unless they're just completely fed. Like, but she should really wait for me to get a stun off before she jumps into a fight. And and that's just or wait for um, the jungler to jump in to the fray before she starts this fight. These fights, uh, right there, I learned something. I didn't know the Q uh, from Zillion. Uh, see, she gets she jumps in too early and just straight up dies. And I didn't even have level five yet, so I mean six yet, so I couldn't have um, saved her with my ultimate. If she would have waited just a little bit longer, I would have been able to, but... And I take a little too much punishment here. Uh, Cassiopeia is at only like 80-something health. And I really would love to, like, I went up against her and I just never... It was just not going to happen, though. Uh... Here, I, what I should have done is picked up Boots instead of what I do pick up. I do, like, Boots, Award, and then um, the next part of Frost Queen's Claim. But here I pick up uh, next part of Cro Frost Queen's Claim, a Ruby Crystal, and then Award, and a few pots. I should have picked up Boots instead of the Ruby Crystal, and then gotten more pots out of it. Which would have been a lot more useful because now I'm really slow into lane so I'd, I'm not going to be able to help out and there goes Tristana again getting pretty aggressive but <laughs> that time it was actually merited keeping her in lane is a pretty good idea <laughs> and um I don't know what Vayne was talking about it wasn't very sneaky And, uh, oh, our Nasus does get a lot of, um, like, early kills, which is very important in this game. Without that, I don't think, uh, we would have had much, like, of a chance if it was the reverse, where Aurelia picked up the two early kills instead of Nasus. But, uh, and here we're pretty safe because their jungler is Trundle and he's up, he's showing himself mid, or, so we, we were fine to be pushing up there. I don't know why we backed off as much as we did. And, uh, and there again, I just missed those, uh, those easy stuns that could have gotten us a kill there, but, oh well. Uh, a little bit of it is, yet, I do not have level 6 yet, and this is again because I don't have I didn't take boots, so I didn't get into lane fast enough, so I didn't get experience fast enough. Um, so I'm a little outmatched here, because Cass if Cassiopeia was paying attention, she could have ulted us both at one time, Vayne rolled in with hers, and then condemned. Uh, 
someone into a wall and chain CCS to a point where uh, their vein just kind of messes up. So we're it's showing that we're all pretty low levels here, like low rank here. And so it's kind of just sad, but um, the whole point of it, like, um, anyways, again, we were very lucky that we never actually even see a Cassiopeia um, ult, like this entire laning phase, but if she would have dropped one, I think she was mostly waiting for us to, uh, there was a decent stun, but I didn't get both of them with the stun, so it wasn't really worth it. Um, if she would have, I think a lot of it was she was waiting for me to use my ultimate so that she could then, like, secure the kill with her ultimate by waiting for mine to wear off and then stunning them or stunning them during the duration, waiting for it to wear off and then killing uh, uh, Tristana afterwards because I wouldn't put it on myself. There's no reason for me to put it on myself. I don't do enough damage because of my mastery choice. And, uh, basically, she does another good thing, which is keeping our focus off of Vayne, which is something you would want to do because you don't want Vayne to farm too much. But, uh, yeah. And here Diana goes through our jungle at first, but she backs off. I mean, I had no idea how to engage at this point, mainly because my uh, time distortion stuff was down. And my ultimate goes on the wrong person here. I put it on Diana instead of putting it on uh, uh, Tristana, which is who I should have put it on, saving her, and she would have easily been able to pick up this kill. But sadly, I don't, and it kind of makes me sad. And then here comes Trundle. We spot him out. They never really check that bush. So we never have any problems. <laughs> yeah, so I was getting mad at the Akali. <laughs> um, here I pick up the Sight Stone, which means I'm going to switch over to uh, the Sweeper. Sadly, I never switch over to the... Diana does ask me a good question, and I should have answered it, but I, I didn't even check it. I didn't even see it until right now, but uh, I never switched the sweeper to an oracles, which is something I should have done, just because that, like, later in the game, an oracles is much more useful than a sweeper, and Diana is completely right. I should have ulted the ADC, not her. And boom, we have now a level advantage again. That is probably my favorite thing about freaking Zillion. Uh, right here, I don't have any wards on Dragon, so and Vayne is missing, and so is Trundle. So guess what's happening? And we get the con confirmation right here, right here. Uh, yeah, right there. See, so you see the little dragon fly around here, and you hear the noises, noises, noises. Noises and voices combined. There we do get out before she can condemn her into a wall, so that was a pretty useful thing, but now my level advantage, uh, pa the passive from my level, like getting in a level advantage off my passive does mean nothing because they all got dragon. And uh, that was completely my fault. I should have warded dragon a lot earlier. Uh, we couldn't have contested it if I would have we would have had knowledge over it and there I just we saw a vein go in or go back so I was trying to like aggressively posture but for some reason Tristana never took like the hint so I just kind of I just kind of had to back off I, I really wanted to go in but she never took the hint and now we go a little too aggressive and vein could have been back at any second and we would have kind of screwed it up there but she takes her time to get back, which is pretty nice. And basically, yeah, there, there she is. Uh, she does condemn me into a wall, but what, is she, what am I gonna, 
do it. Like, what if she gets punished so hard she has to go back immediately? So our, so there was a kind of an okay bait. Like, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I got punished way too hard for trying to land a QWQ onto a uh, onto her. But at the same time, oh well. And they're back, so we're pushing in through the tower. But Nasus does get killed by the two top lane, which gives us great information to tell us that no one's in our lane, and uh, no one's up top, and the jungler's up top. So the only one who could have come and got us was Akali, and she is fed, but I don't think she could really kill us both. Like I'm pretty sure she would kill us, but she wouldn't kill us both. Just because my ultimate, my stun, Tristana's jump, and stuff like that. It would just make a lot of sense to assume she wouldn't be able to kill us both. And Tristana's low on mana here, so we don't want to really push up any further. And also the fact that um, Trundle's missing. Like, Trundle's not accounted for. I do have most of the river warded, so I can see most of the river if you wanted to go through that. But we don't have anywhere on our jungle warded, so he could be like flanking us, but uh, Diana's there, so it's not that big of a deal. And there's another miss from my QWQ combo. And uh, I only see Trundle here, that's why I ping a. That's why in a second I ping a. Um, like, if I would have seen Diana was also with Trundle, I would have. We would we should have been moved, but I only saw Trundle there, and I didn't see Diana just explode him. So um, I ping a warning, and it just kind of falls apart. And all, Trundle's all sad about his stacks now. But um, uh, now we know we can get this tower. As long as we can get a pick, and Diana really does hang out a little too late, too long. And, uh, she's, I believe she plans to go, oh yeah, that's right, uh, here she goes, tries to help out with, uh, Akali, but Akali gets out way before they even have, like, I even attempt to go with, but I have no desire to go up there, especially when Tristana is being the aggressive person that they, Tristana is being. I decide to just stay with her and try to zone them out, keep her away from her. And uh, we're just trying not to have them like push out too far. And I do get a fairly good stun there, and I don't know what happened there with my uh, like my mouse kind of just panned to the right really quickly. Uh, we could have actually followed up there if, you know, I was on point with that, but, yeah, just, just a lot of sad faces there, and then Yasuo going and dying again, that became a very common th thing, was Yasuo dying, but Diana picking up kills afterwards, it's about, that's about right, um, Diana goes down, and now, oh, Trindle's on a killing spree, but it's alright, because Nasus is coming back. Uh, there, Tristana again dies. My, I had my ultimate up, and I don't know why I dropped my ult. Didn't drop my ult. It would have saved Tristana, and we would have been able to turn it around. That was just me being stupid, and I should have ulted him, because it's such a slow, uh, low cooldown, and everything like that. I'm just incredibly angry at that play, because <laughs> you can't tell, because pretty monotone 90% of the time but I'm pretty upset that you know Tristana died there because of my stupidity uh, here I don't know what to really go for anymore like that's that's another thing is I only have the recommended build path for uh, zillion which is not a good zillion support build path so the whole like so what I should have done was um, 
like set up a build path for support zillion before going ahead and um, doing what I did like before I picked zillion support and uh, here comes Diana again and I think she goes through their jungle to try to like backdoor them but they both back off like heavily I mean not even not even just kidding back off they, I mean they just are like fuck this shit I'm out kind of back off after that stun so because of that we start like posturing for a dragon I think oh no that's right Trundle's there so I give uh, Diana another level advantage so she's two levels over her like opponent or jungle opponent which is always great and then Tristana picks up the the uh, tower here and then we're starting to like posture for a dragon but um, and I should have swept that ward but I didn't but I do sweep this one and because I hang around too long uh, yep right there I do get a stun there and that does mean Vayne is gone which is a great a great thing because that means the only heavy damage dealers they have left is uh, Akali and I guess if you want to think Cassiopeia I do get I do not get a stun off there because I sh um, what's his name Yasuo just straight up dies too fast there and Yasuo gets all angry And Diana laughs at him and then tells him not to feed because you know that's how you totally win games is to totally be rude to each other so uh, I think we here we're kind of just at this weird point where it's like we don't want to pressure anything but also at the same time we need to but uh, here comes Trundle and I do get a stun off on him or no I don't I'm dumb. Uh, I set up a decent stun on him, and I'm glad it didn't go off because then Tristana would have jumped in and died to a Kali. Um, here, I should have saved Frost uh, Frost Queen's claim a little bit earlier, especially since he also just jumps in and fights a Kali straight up, which was not a good idea. I don't know how I didn't get st that stun there. That was kind of a BS stun. But I noticed how much damage that it actually did to Trundle was very awkward. Because you would think that Trundle would be at least a little bit tanky to someone, but it turns out he doesn't really get too much MR. He gets a lot of armor though. <laughs> so, uh, we do lose a turret and a dragon here. Because we just had no like plan of what we were going to do, which is not something you want. And here, I think I get a stun off on... No, no. She condemns me away before I can stun. And that means that there's a ward there, so I sweep it. And we go back to our farming stuff, which is not what we want to be doing, because Vayne will... Like, Vayne outfarms us badly and would become a very big threat. I do take a little too much damage from from that but it surprisingly isn't too bad and I think Diana stays a little like she really does camp us pretty hard here but this is the point where you know laning should be over it's 20 minutes in at least laning should be over and we should be you know team fighting grouping up and stuff like that getting picks and stuff like that would be a great idea and speaking of picks uh, getting Vayne out on her own, plus Cassiopeia down bottom thanks to uh, Diana's great stuff. So I have to, you know, tell Diana about it. And then seeing Vayne, uh, we catch out Vayne here, I believe. No, no, no. Uh, here we catch out a Kali. With a decent stun there, I, kind of a blind stun, and then a very, very good ultimate by Yasuo. Uh, very good Q ultimate by Yasuo. This, uh, because their two damage dealers are down for a full 30 seconds, plus their support Cassiopeia is down for a while, we're actually, and how poorly bad their trundle is at tanking, 
basically means that we get our inhibitor here. We get their inhibitor here. Which, uh, if we had our Nasus here, we could have probably done this a lot more smoother than we do. But we do get the inhibitor tower and the inhibitor itself. And we really shouldn't have done that because both Akali and, um, Akali and Vayne are up now, so we easily die here because of it. But we do, we do stay in. That flash, though, there, I don't know if you guys notice it, but he does have a flash. And I do try to save our, like, biggest, like, I flash to use my ultimate on Diana to really, like, save her best flash in A. <laughs> yeah, Yasuo called it out, too. But, um, right there I flashed to give Diana my ultimate so that she doesn't die, mainly because she's going to carry here, plus the fact that she has the most gold on her head on our team, meaning, uh, means that she easily would, is our one of more important things, like, one of our more important, like, characters, or carries, there we go, that's the word I'm trying to say. So she stays alive this entire time as I can't decide what I want, but I decide on a banner of command, mainly mainly because we want to push this game before Akali and um, Vayne like, become those hyper-carry god tier uh, champions that they always become, if you're not paying attention too much. And here I'm trying to get Vision in our jungle because I'm really afraid that there's just an Akali, but... If I would have just checked the mini-map here, I would have known they're all there. So I knew I could just ward Baron. Um, here we really should have been thinking about looking towards Baron or setting up for a dragon. Which uh, we do start moving towards dragon and kind of like warding the area. But it's not up yet. And I don't think it's up for another few minutes. So, um... Basically, we're just looking for picks here, and we do find we do find a Akali, and she does try a pretty slick move by jumping to me, but it runs her right into uh, Yasuo, which is not where she wants to be, because then she her eyes become greedy, and Diana just explodes and kills her in like a few seconds. And now we should be looking towards mid. So that's where I start heading, and I don't think I use Banner of Command at all this game. That is another thing I need to do is remember that my activatables I can use. Ooh. Here's actually something that I do want to point out. I do actually get pretty well. I get both Trundle and, um, uh, what's her name, Corellia with the stun, which allows Diana to get that double kill, which makes me very happy and proud of myself. Uh, it's like one of the only things that I do well this game. Basically, my like things that I do well this game are I don't die too often. I got a single kill early, and I land like one or two half decent stuns. That was a good idea by Nasus. Like uh, we do split up here. What we should have done is split where Diana goes top or top and Tristana me um, like and everyone else goes bottom this way that they would have to send um, Diana versus Akali and like had our fed like players duke it out in a 1v1 situation but here we just kind of throw Tristana to the wolves I, I don't think that was a very good play I, I think Diana would have been a better split push option even though it was 2v1 up there. Which means that we should have picked up something here, but a great condemn followed by our terrible engage kind of does mean that nothing really happens and they are able to... And now we're trying to get Yasuo to back off, but of course he doesn't. And here we want to try for Dragon, but their jungler plus like their entire team is up versus our four-man team, so that's not really a good idea. We do have minions pushing into the base. So, again, 
But yes, uh, Aurelia and Akali both come from the back and just cause a straight up problem here. And uh, my ultimate placement is very bad on this. I should have put it on Yasuo right there. That would have given us an upper hand in this fight. But of course, I didn't. And uh, I do get it on Diana, but there's just nothing she could do with all that CC. And then, to be honest, Aurelia did not need that flash. But, you know, what are you going to do? And I should have picked up the Abyssal Scepter here. I should have picked up the Abyssal Scepter or the uh, Unholy Grail or anything like that. But I went with the Zerat Portal, I guess is how you say it. Which is really not a good idea for me. <laughs> I should... Even Omrecker would have been a better buy than this, and we're not—we're past the point of tower dives. Omrecker no longer would be useful. I don't know what it is. Here's another thing that I like doing, and it's actually a pretty good idea. If you keep everyone's spirits, you know, positive, you have a better chance at winning. It doesn't help. It kind of—we were scaling towards a win anyways, thanks to Diana's ridiculous damage at this point but uh, you know just encouraging Trisana to not give up on us really means that really means that um, that we're working together as a team and that we can pull this out a lot better mainly because people that are in a good mood or in a positive environment are more willing to work together than a team or like people that are not in a positive environment here I do show Trundle and uh, it seems like he's all alone and I thought we could go for it but I, for some reason we just secure chickens instead but we start warding up Baron which is actually um, kinda dumb I was really afraid of the Akali engage right there just her dive in on me I do get another stun on Trundle, and uh, that does lead to a bunch of damage. And I drop my ultimate again, this time on... Um... No, I don't get my ultimate off this time. I'm, I just kind of pan panic, and I buy the Zorak portal, which is not a very good buy, especially on a, on a support character. I don't really like that thing, and see, I'm really wanting to not buy it, but... <laughs> I'm really not wanting to buy it, but I've already committed, so I'm going to go with it. Things that I should learn, definitely, is buying items, like what items I want to buy. So now they're really going for the, it is a, that was a five for one trade, so that was a great idea. So Tristana is going to get our, uh, their um, inhibitor while everyone else gets the Baron. And I'm going to attempt to uh, clear out a little bit of the minions down bottom. But uh, here is pretty much where we, like, we've already kind of taken over the game. But here we really, really do take over the game even more. Just because now we, with our Baron buff, we can push down quicker. Um, Tristana is down. She stayed a little too long in mid, I guess, and got herself killed. And I start, like, warding ba uh, Dragon again so we can try to get our first Dragon of the game. Because right now we're actually pretty even with uh, 25 to 25. So I was really afraid, and I wanted to get some more wards out just to, you know, give us vision of the area. Uh... Trundle does show himself solo down bottom, and he does get the uh, scuttle crab. So, and we're dumb enough to walk in it, so he knows that we're there. But uh, a quick engage, thanks to Diana's ballsiness there. I don't get a stun, sadly, but I do get my ultimate off this time. Uh, this time on Nasus, which turns out to be the best thing ever. Like he just becomes a monster and that time it was a 5 for 2 and I ping the two sides but we can just force down the middle at this point I give my little I 
use my single port of Bender to command, and then I drop the Zerat portal because I'm like, I've gotta, I've gotta use this. I have to uh, um, justify the buy, and I don't even think, yeah, it barely even makes it that far. <laughs> but there's this game, and basically this game was kind of like a, a very awkward game to play, to be honest with you, and. Uh, because of that, we really did a, like, not too bad in lane, but a lot was to go about and, uh, like, a lot to work on. Uh, overall, not too bad. And then we finally ended off with uh, 2, 3, and 14. Uh, Diana carrying as hardcore. Uh, I actually do the third highest damage on the team. Tristana and Yasuo both kind of drop off in damage, sadly. And um, I also think I get the most, like, I'm pretty up there in how many, like, uh, what's the word, gold earned. If only I, you know, and I had the second lowest next to Diana on deaths on the team, which was a great idea. Which was not a great idea, but great thing. I participated in a lot of our kills, but not all of them. And basically, now I'm just going over the stats and like what everyone did and stuff like that. I just like looking at the charts. To be honest, they're pretty funny to me. But uh, overall, there was a lot to improve on in that game for me, and it wasn't the highest skill cap game, obviously. But I, I felt fairly decent about it be honest yeah and it's just a lot more work than I have to like have to work on in the game uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and hopefully you guys would like to see more and maybe even suggest like maybe a name for this because I don't really know what a name for this would be anyways thanks for watching I'm anxiety disorder and good day